हेलो एवरी वन आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल माई सेल्फ जैसे का टीचर फ्रॉम सेंट पॉल्स हाई स्कूल विल बी टीचिंग योर आर्ट थ्रू दिस वीडियो सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू मेक अ मेमोरी ड्रॉइंग ऑन रेनी डे सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द वीडियो टॉपिक रेनी डे स्टैंडर्ड थर्ड हाउ टू ड्रॉ अ रेनी डे so firstly we are going to draw the border line put the topic name and write the date so before we start drawing so what is a memory drawing so memory drawing means a realistic drawing which you all visualize and draw okay so let's start drawing so here i have lightly drawn with pencil so let's start first we'll draw lady so in memory drawing there are three figures so three figures are compulsory in memory drawing so first we'll draw the face okay so firstly you're going to draw with pencil and then you'll can draw the border line so for your to see it clearly i'm straight away drawing the border line make the hairs so see this technique you all have learned in the earlier video so i have shown you all how to draw a one side face a front side face using the simple techniques so using that simple techniques we are going to draw this figures so now the body portion she is wearing a sari draw the hands okay hand portion also i have shown you all how to draw fingers no need of making it into detail she is holding an umbrella okay hand the handle this way okay so uh, now we'll draw the down portion so again i'm telling don't draw with pe uh, pen or marker straight away first draw with pencil okay so the frills the legs so i have shown you all the technique of drawing the feet so same way you are going to draw the feet okay so i have shown you all in circles right three circles are there so that way using that technique you going to draw the feet it's simple so that's it the second one so we are done with the first figure we'll draw an umbrella now so see when you draw the figures no you are going to show them so one so all the figures don't draw of only one height or same length you're going to differentiate between the size okay so one figure will be big then the next one will be smaller than that and the third one to show them more smaller than that that way you're going to draw okay see yeah umbrellas see the curves how i am drawing them them 
because if you draw this way it will be wrong ulta curves so the second figure so front side face haven't i shown you all yes so same technique you're going to draw the face so you all must have realized that the first figure is big compared to this small figure like this figure i have drawn little small so i have shown that the girl is going to school she is in a school uniform okay this way on the hands and while drawing the hands no draw it like human being because some children they draw like flexible hands they are robots no so don't draw flexible hands okay so the next one again i'm going to show you as it's rainy day so she she is holding an umbrella see curve the handle okay children so see how i have drawn her hand see this way right so the front face that is the eyes so i'm using a pen here okay simple eyes and the face and while drawing faces also you're going to show the emotions she is smiling so again the umbrella half circle so as i told all you draw curves this way okay see curves should be this way as i'm drawing do not draw them outwards okay so with the down portion see how i'm drawing the feet okay see like a narrow you're going to take narrow lines that way so first outwards and then again a circle half circle yes this way okay so we are done with the two figures so the third one keep in mind the proportion see this is big so this is comparatively small the second one so the third one will become small see here smaller than the second one so we'll show a boy he is enjoying the rain he is dancing in the rain happily so you all must have realized that one figure we have drawn one side the second one is the front side and the third one is the back side of the boy this way 
so the back portion I'm drawing see this way if you don't do detailing for the back figure also that's okay see so we are done with the three figures so the background now so I'm showing a coconut tree and there's a house a simple house okay the door so you all already know how to draw a house you all are grown ups right so a simple stairs show some grass some water so you all know now how to show water Here also small bushes. See we are done with the background. So you all can pause the video here and draw the background properly. And see this is how we show water. Zigzag lines. So when you draw the zigzag lines no, it gives you depth. See it gives depth right this way. So now we will start with the coloring part so I hope this is clear so you all can erase the pencil lines now and start coloring so first we will color the face so you all can use your favorite colors here see how I am coloring now whichever colors you all have you all are going to use that whichever colors are available at home please use that colors don't go out to buy colors okay children so this way hands so now I will darken the shade ok this way so we are done with the skin color so I am going to color the clothes So if you all want, you all can also do the shading. See, first I gave light blue, no? So now I'm going to give dark blue. So this is dark blue shading. Okay. But do make sure that you all color it nicely. So just with a light pink I'm giving the strokes now using a darker pink I'm going to give a highlight see this way okay so same way I'll do the rest coloring so for an umbrella also I'm going to use three shades light medium and dark yellow so one is ochre yellow darker shade okay 
so first i'll give a light yellow for an umbrella see finish giving the light shade so now the second one the medium yellow just give the highlights and then the second figure I have given a red color for the uniform. You all can give any color which you all want. So this pattern we have learned in the first topic, right? How to draw lines? You all know square line lines, right? So again the umbrella. Again here, I'm going to give it the shades. So light purple, dark purple and again I've used a pink there for the roof of the house. See, I fast forwarded the video. So you'll accordingly color it with your favorite colors. Okay, children? So you all already know how to color, no? So you all can color it on your own also. So the coconut tree. next tree for the tree you all can also use three shades that is light medium and dark so light green dark green and medium green See, this much is finished coloring. So I'm going to show the water. So first I'm using a light blue color and then to mix it I'm using a white color. See again I am showing you first a light blue shade to show water and then take white color and then all are done. So you are going to mix blue and white. And for the ground, I'm using your brown. And again, a darker shade of brown. And maybe you can also use a green color after giving the brown. See this way, okay?
so after finishing with brown we will use the green color so in rainy day there is greenery everywhere right so you're going to use the green color okay Again, I'm going to give a little shade of brown and we are done. And now we will make the water droplets. So, for, sorry, for, so before making the water droplets, we'll show the road. Okay, and again a blue shade. So we are finally done with the coloring. So now we will show the water droplets. So for showing the water droplets, I am using a dark blue color. See a darker shade, and only you are going to draw small droplets this way. So also while drawing the droplets, draw it only in one direction. See. So if you will draw from both the directions, it won't look good, right? So water falls from one direction sometimes, right? So, so show only from one direction. So we are finally done with the water droplets. So that's it. So you can also pause the video and draw it nicely okay so i hope you all have understood how to draw a memory drawing so this is how a memory drawing is going to look so thank you stay home stay safe